Okay gang, this is Ben, K4ZEP from the world's smallest lab. Here is a oboe running on one volt. That's, what, that's the power supply that pe feeds the power FET that feeds the coil. And that's to three decimal places. Now there's a 5.3 volt, 5 volt supply now that feeds the Hall effect but this does not in any way reflect into the power into the coil. The Hall effect has to have at least four volts to drive and I'm just running at, at a little bit over five. And uh, the only voltage going through the coil is that big uh, hex fit there from the one volt power supply. There is the waveform. Uh, let's see if I can... Uh, there's much better triggering on it now. That's the waveform. It's about a 50% duty cycle. And there seems to be some sort of strange voltage doubling almost going here on the circuit. When you look at the waveform, voltage peak to peak, and the voltage from the power supply, and I've measured this directly across the rails, so I know that's right. And there it is running. It's, it, it, it's highly unoptimized. I was mainly just testing out a toroid coil I had to see how effective it was and I discovered it would run down on extremely low voltages. Uh, there's the pulsing current that you can see on a uh, milliamp meter. Uh, the coil is 7.4 ohms and it's about 600 millihenries of inductance as I recall. But anyway, that's it. Uh, it will run on one volt with one coil and this is my old crude little old motor just to, and this was just a test but I wanted to let you see uh, what it can what running on one volt there is no problem it will do it so this is K4ZEP Ben and I'm clear